Hello everybody, my name is Rojo and welcome back to um, Borderlow. No, welcome back to Total Warmer 2 as Borderlow. That makes more sense. Um, yeah, we uh, last time we took out, well, almost took out Tilia. Absolutely not. They uh, disagree, but uh, the facts are the facts. Uh, we got Moragliano here. And uh, we can build quite a bit of stuff here, but um, nothing special. I was hoping we'd be able to build some, you know, something cool. It's a ten, ten slot settlement, but uh, I guess maybe the, maybe the landmarks are only for uh, the Empire, or certainly at least not for us. So either way, what are you gonna do? Um, build up some stuff here. Probably want one of these because uh, there's quite a lot of corruption here. Uh, and then I guess we might as well upgrade that. And then, um... Probably gonna ditch the tailors, uh, if I'm being honest, so we can build the walls here instead. And then our last slot, I don't know, we'll build the trebuchet thing maybe, or something like that. Uh, alright, skill way? points. We get these distributed. Um... Right, I gave you that. Uh, at this point, I might as well give you a lightning strike. Just so that you uh, you have it. And then we'll work on our, her magic stuff. So she can be a slightly better spellcaster, one hopes. Um, what to build here? Did we build? We built that. So let's get one of those going. And what about over here? Similar idea. Um, we'll get one of these. And we'll build that there. It's probably all the building we're going to be able to do. We'll save a little bit of money. Do you know who I am? Okie dokie. Um, never gave Alberic, or never got to the point to give Alberic rally so we'll probably give him that seems like a good enough idea for now then you mon frere we uh we'll give you we're just really here to fight so i think more uh weapon strength seems just fine all right is that everybody i think that's everybody you were actually going to send... You can't do this, can you? No, I didn't think so. Onwards. I'm going to send this guy I don't know, out there somewhere. The Check out the uh, the Dark Elf situation. So, more Tomb Kings there. Yes, of the lady. And then you... Making my way. can go right across there. This is Illyrian... Seems like, I don't know, it seems like a lot of the elf actions are just still True Knight of alive and kicking. Oh yeah, and then we got you. Um, I mean, what do you even do with this guy? <laughs> uh, do you know who um, I am? Just take this guy, I don't know, let you hang out I shall share my with that guy. I was going to send him in, in near this other army, but eh, whatever, it doesn't matter. All right, let's uh, what's what's the damage? My reputation precedes me. So we lost quite a few guys in that unit, and I protect Bertone. She lost a lot of her guys too. So protector of the realm. We're gonna need to to sit tight, probably, to some extent. I do wonder if we can take her out though. She has a lot of depth guard, which are pretty strong. But we can probably take her. To that end, I think I might attack her. <laughs> My reputation precedes me. Just trying to see where she is. She's right there. Who calls so let's me try hands? something here. Um, we're gonna move. Gives you her blessing. Sort of I down like that. I'm gonna hope that that means she can't run away from us. 
Onward. Guardian. I will indulge. We'll move you down Taking like so. Leave. Armored in faith. All right, let's uh Let's see what happens when we try to fight her. Strike them down. He's already at war with so many other people. We're already at war with the Dreadfleet anyway, so that doesn't really make any difference. To victory. And yeah, she's actually just gonna fight us. Um We're actually missing an army? Excuse me? <laughs> um, hang on a sec. Like, we don't even have a... Or is there, do we have no garrison? Oh, yeah, yeah, because we just took My it over. And wisdom are yours. Valiant Lord. Here we go. Now we'll fight you. Respectfully, I disagree with the assessment that this is anything even... Remotely resembling a fair fight. <laughs> well, I guess no need to gamble for uh, for magic here. Um, all right, so we've got two armies coming in from the back. That's actually sort of good. Actually, that's going to be all of our armies coming in from the back. So um, we really want to rush out to meet them as fast as we what can here. Um, to that Please, end. Let's you guys like that so we'll put you there we'll uh, do a little something like that with these guys uh, Knights of the Realm where's their cannons are right there um looking for also they got some some big monsters, but I don't see them. They must be in the trees, I guess. Oh no, there they are. You know, that's I thought that was the mortars. This is the mortars. Uh yeah, we want to fight those guys with our our knights, basically. So I think our best bet is probably going to be to we'll, we'll put our our knights on that side, and then uh, we'll put our field trebuchet. Ideally, basically just out of range of their mortars. So, let's back up a little bit more here. And uh, that should be just fine. Uh, okay, I think that's just about everything. Put you guys right up there. And we'll put you right in the back. Field Trebuchet! All right, start the battle. Let's go slow. I'm going to lock your formation. Move you up. And we'll just get you guys to go, like, right about there. You guys swing right around. Albrick, you're going to go just right into the middle of their gunnery mob, I think. And then you as well. Move on up. Move on up. And of course, we're going to need you to come up as well. So we'll move you maybe just ahead of the archers. Yeah, let's see what you're shooting at. I don't know if it really matters too terribly much. You're actually pretty banged up, so I don't want you doing anything too terribly crazy. I'm going to send you out. We'll send you guys over like that. Let's take a look here. So you guys... are going to go just like so. You're going to hang out. You can definitely just go in. That's not a problem. You go up. You're going to hang out here. Uh, let's see, what else have we got? Some more, a few more archers just coming in from the back here. So you guys just hang out over there if you would. 
And let's see. You guys are moving up. All right, so that all seems acceptable. All right, move on over, please. Actually, no, we don't want you guys to be charging at all, really. But the Morn Ghouls, those guys do not count as infantry. As far as I know, I think they count as large. So let's blob up a little bit here. You need to move up just a hair so that you can uh, drop some uh, some nasty shit into their midst, if you would, please. All right, let's uh, see if we can find Alberic in this mess of shit here. <laughs> I have no idea where he is. There you are. Put all this stuff on. Do something like that just to get some damage going. And uh, now we'll get you. Right about there. That looks pretty good. You guys are going to go after that particular gunnery mob unit, I think. You need to run away from her. She will put a hurting upon you. It is not desirable. But she doesn't even have her mount yet. Alright, you guys move on out. Where'd she go? Um, go ahead and do a... Big old wind blast, like right there. Let's get my pallet in here. We'll just give him some good shit like that. You guys are getting stuck in with them. I don't love it. Alright, move on in. If you would, please. All right, easy peasy. You guys need to disengage from uh, whatever you're doing. Go after those guys if you would. All right, so those guys are going to be gone momentarily, most likely. All right, now we need you guys to get over there. Good enough. All right, let's have you guys shoot those Morn Ghouls for me. Yeah, these Depth Guard are super duper dangerous. Without a doubt. You guys got to go after these Morn Ghouls if you can, if you can get them. You'll probably do something like that, maybe. All right, yeah, we got those guys, so move on up. Get the rest of our guys stuck in here. You guys probably don't need to shoot into this blob anymore at this point. Let's also get the fan enchantress, uh, or not the fan enchantress. We'll get, we'll get you going so that you can uh, heal these guys. That is the fan enchantress, actually. All right, after him. After him. Alright, so we got all these guys, it looks like. I'm gonna turn off my uh, trebuchets, I think. people attacking our Nessa here and we're gonna just turn off fire wheel with you guys and uh, we'll turn off fire wheel with uh, you guys
We serve our liege. Perfect. Yeah, these guys are basically done for at this point. Check like our knights got banged up pretty good because I left them in uh, the thick of it for a little bit too long, but yeah, it's okay. Let's get um, you guys, if you would, to attack this. He's pretty dangerous. Oh, do we? Uh, oh no, those are running for me. Yeah, I was gonna say, did we get blown up with uh, one of those unit uh, units to blow up? I forget what they're called. I don't think so, though. All right, this is done. That's right, she's only human, so uh, we need to chase her down to actually destroy her. Alright, cease your, your behavior if you would. Immediately! Armor in faith! See if we've got is there anybody else yet? Yeah, like these paladins here? My blade is yours. Battle pilgrims are not what I wanted. I wanted uh Knights of the Realm! Ideally. Foot squires. Since she's infantry and they have armor piercing and all that good stuff. We'll uh, just go ahead and speed this up, though. I don't know if we'll kill her or not. Actually, I probably want to make I sure, though. My soul is Faith is my armor. Yeah, use that. Me. Green Knight, use that. There we go. We got her. Alright, we didn't lose too many guys. Looks like we probably did... Those guys probably did get wiped out. And maybe these guys, they got a ton of kills too. Um, it's going to be a bummer if we lose them just because they're so high rank, but... It is what it is. Okay, 1771. Got ourselves a little bit of treasure. And we got ourselves another level. Always nice to have. And we will just execute captives once again. Took out a bunch of their heroes. That's really good. Um, it looks like we already had the trait for defeating her. Huh. Maybe I should have attacked with the uh, the fan chantress instead. Time to the drink. Get uh, regen when fighting at sea. Yeah, that's what it looks like. We might already had that, and I forgot about it. <laughs> that's okay. Um. The good news is we can get some of these now for because we have some units that are pretty pretty solid. Uh, we don't have any of those though. Looking for like that's not too bad, I guess. That's not too bad. I mean, none of them are really bad. Um. So looking for, yeah, this is the one that we want. It's going to make our front line a little bit better. So that we uh, we don't immediately get the shit kicked out of us every time we uh, wander into a, uh, a fight. Um, Now that we have Chain Lightning, I guess, I'm going to leave that be. We're going to pick up Earthing, and then we'll pick up Magical Reserves as well after that. It looks like we did lose... One unit is something here. Um, who, uh, who died? Was it archers? No, it wasn't archers. I think it was a unit of knights. So we had... No, we only had three of them. Who the hell did we lose? <laughs> I 
I actually completely forget. Might have, maybe it must have been like a unit of foot squires. No, I don't think so. That's okay. We'll uh, recruit something else. We can get more Knights of the Realm, and we can get them at uh, <laughs> rank 7 anyway, so I guess not a big loss there. Um, but I think we might be better off with Foot Squires if we can get them. Which it looks like we actually can't. Or even maybe some Pegasus Knights for a little bit of additional flying support. That would be interesting. What else do we have here? Grail Knights, Grail Guardians, Royal Hippogriff Knights. Royal Pegasus Knights. One of those might be good to get, but it's going to take a little bit too long for right now. So I think um, we'll uh, we'll grab one soon. of these guys. Well, no, we we need the front line. I feel like. I will oh, but that's gonna take four turns. All right, no, take it back. For now, yes. Those guys, it is. I hear and the hopefully wings. we can. Yeah, we can My get you guys all back in. Ah, uh, not you. You're not. Are you serious? Forty-nine percent. Get the fuck out. <laughs> Protector of the realm. Well, it is what it is. My reputation proceeds. All right, let's give you. Oh, marcher, blah blah blah. We'll give you like just some crap to make you a better fighter, I guess. Do you know who I am? She doesn't need to recruit anybody at all. Although, this guy needs to level up, so I guess we'll do that. Alright, I think that's everybody. I refuse. I'm not gonna bother to chase those guys down just yet. I'd rather sit and uh, just heal a little. Now, you got quite the army. We might want to recruit another army come up and uh, deal with him. So let's go another lord here, I think. We get a melee lord this time. Let's see. Weapon strength. I feel like we can do a little bit better. Like that one's not bad. Um, that's not bad. Well, it's not terribly good, but it's not terribly bad. Um, melee defense. Weapon strength. Um, we'll, uh, we'll get this guy. Do you know who I am? Route Marcher, Inspiring Presence. Uh, what else? What else? What else? What else? Probably want to pick up... It's not, I don't know what he's going to be able to get. Actually, now that I think about it, so maybe I'll just make my life a little easier, and uh, we'll uh, we'll just do that. And if I do want to recruit, we're gonna have to cancel some kind of construction. Um, we don't need that just yet. Protector of the realm. Very well, if you insist. I think she's recruiting up here, so if we cancel... Devotee yeah, the we'll lead. cancel these guys. We'll, we'll, we'll go with something like that. And, uh, actually, yeah, sure. Upgrading Marienburg sounds like a great idea. I'm glad, uh... Glad uh, the things worked out this way. I don't think there's anything else that we can really do right this second. Uh, aside from maybe just look at our diplomacy situation. Uh, Dark Elves not going to be interested in trading with us. Not that we probably would anyway. Yeah, reliability very low. That's brutal. There's really no point in diplomacy right now. We'll be lucky if we can keep the treaties that we already have. Oh, 
Lothurn and Tiranach confederated. These lands are ours by the right granted from the Lady of the Lake. I guess I shouldn't be surprised. Not too worried about it, though. They uh, don't have very much in the way of strength rank. And they're not even really all that close to us. You might want to... Push pause on uh, doing any more exploration, though, with our current um, low reliability. Which, uh, if you don't recall, is from me last time I made a, a non-aggression pact with the Border Princes um, because they were allied with Tilia. And I wanted to fight Tilia and was hoping that the Border Princes would abandon their alliance, basically. Um, unfortunately, what happened is they joined... Oh, Tilia just got destroyed. Um... Unfortunately, what happened is the Border Princes joined Tilia, and then I got dinged with low reputation and uh, treaty breaking because they chose to join Tilia in the war. Had no idea that would happen. I actually, frankly, disagree with it. But uh, what's done is done. I'm not sure how many turns it takes to get re reliability back. I think it's probably at least 10. Alright, town census has been done. So we get a little bit more recruitment capacity. That is nice to see. Oh, and we got uh, we're up to 1600 chivalry. So we can summon the uh, Green Knight whenever we want. Which is awesome. All right, which one are you? You're uh, you're not Albrecht's army. Um, I think. Like honestly, we'd probably just give you evasion. That seems fine. Got uh. Oh no no you're in uh sorry you're in uh. The king's army. Get them all. Get them all mixed up. Well, you know, all the nobles look alike <laughs> at the end of the day. Uh, okay, so you've recruited. Uh, I think we can start to move down. Um, but I want to do it while encamping still. If the lady wills it. So that's going to be our plan. I will go just to make sure we're in as good a shape as possible. Yes. I mean, I guess we could you seek the lady? even, like, can we recruit archers here? Uh, no, we actually can't. We don't have any farms here. Um, what about, uh, global recruitment? We can do it globally. They only come in with rank one, so I guess we'll we'll leave these guys be. Blessings of the Lady be upon you. Glory awaits. Alright, so that's going to be... All of these guys sorted out for the moment. I'm sure they're recruiting another army down in Sartosa. Yeah, there we go. 
So we'll probably have to fight Aranessa one more time before we're done. We're gonna skip over that, skip over that. Lord not moved. Right, that's gonna be you. It shall be so. Yeah. I'm gonna move you up like that, I think. My strength and wisdom are yours. I guess we could recruit some more regiments of renown, just for fun. We've actually got um, quite a few here, so we'll grab these guys, I guess, real quick. Got some new research available as well. Let's see, registered draft. It's interesting, but we don't really need the money. I think we're going to work on stuff like this, yeah, like charity stuff that gives us chivalry. So we'll get charity. Um, we'll definitely upgrade uh, Blackstone Post. Skip over uh, Hero Not Move situations. Oh, actually, no, not quite. We want to use you to, to mess with these guys a little bit. Because the more we do that, the more goodwill we're going to get with the dwarves. And uh, we can use that. That is you. Um, yeah, and then we can use that to uh, hopefully get a treaty with them once our reliability improves a bit. Because the dwarves are strength rank one. We definitely don't want to fight them if we don't have to. Uh, let's just see what else we can build. I feel like we ought to build, be able to build something of some kind somewhere like that, maybe. And uh, we have another slide here. Hmm. I think uh, here we probably want the trebuchet building, but we're just a little bit short. And like I would build probably walls there, so we'll have to wait on that. Artois. Uh, there we go. Yeah, we'll build. Uh, we'll build that. That's fine. Not sure I want to fight Noctilus on the field. Ah, yeah, he's gonna fight us now. Um, yeah, I'm not sure I want to fight him on the field because he um has like these cannons and monsters and stuff. It might make it more difficult than it has to be. Got a lot of spears, but no men at arms, which is probably gonna be a bit of a problem. The rest of these, not so much. So we'll uh, we'll try it out. They'll probably waste their uh, their deck droppers. I mean, if we lose the settlement, we lose the settlement. It's just uh, the way it is. But uh, hopefully, we can we can figure this out and make it work. All right, so they do definitely have some towers. We'll, uh, we'll just start deployment here. They're not going to be able to do too much against that. We don't want to keep our archers, but we definitely need to sally out with our knights. Because we want to take out those uh, those those carronades if we can. Carronades, I guess. Carronade, carronade, not really sure. Um, so both of these guys need to get out of the gate. They're going to be more or less useless otherwise. I mean, the, the archers slightly less so. And then uh, the, the only other question really becomes, do we even bother to try and fight these guys? I think the answer is going to be yes. We're going to stick one unit of, uh, of spearmen. On the wall, uh, we really need to get all these other guys out of the way. So let's just we'll group you guys up and then move everybody back here for a sec. All right, so let's take 
What do you do to spears like that? Just to activate these towers so we can get a few shots off on uh, some of these critters here. And we're just going to take all of our archers and uh, hang out back here. And I think we have a couple more, actually. There we go. So uh, definitely need to be in guard mode. Turn off fire at will for now. Um, we do have, we got like so much shit here that I almost wonder if we're going to be a little bit too stuck in um, in this enclosed space, but I think this is our best bet to be able to uh, successfully deal with these guys, but no, what's your deal? You guys get frenzy. Interesting. Paladin needs to stay back here. Um, so I want, I think, this is my battle, battle pilgrims have shields. I want them to be in the front, basically. Soaking up the, the damages. We'll have to, like, maybe do something like My Lord? like this with uh, some of our guys here. Bowmen. Fighters. Peasant bowmen. Ready for battle. Squires. All right, then we can put foot squires in. Looks like we're actually a little bit out of space as far as that goes. Um, There we go. We'll put you guys there. Um, we're going to need, definitely want to keep our foot squires in the back here as best we can. So we'll put you there. Men at arms, extremely expendable. In fact, expendable to the point where I'm going to put men at arms up here instead. Uh, I want those those flying units to come straight after me, so we'll uh, we'll keep our other men at arms. I think over here, with these guys. Maybe put you there just for another line of defense, since those guys are in kind of a loose formation. Ready for orders. Basically, I don't know. This is pro this could be a terrible idea. <laughs> we get nailed with some magic or something, but I don't, I don't know if he has any magic or not. I think that's everybody. As far as I can tell. Well, all right, let's uh, start the battle. We'll see how we do. Ready to ride. So you guys come straight out if you would, please. And we're gonna go ahead and slow this down immediately. Um, bloated corpse is actually not what I'm worried about. I wanna shoot the rounding Leviathans as much as I can here. Here we want to shoot Count Noctilus. Gunnery mob. I guess it really doesn't matter. We'll try for the gunnery mob. Because, yeah, those running Leviathans are going to be a real actual problem. See, bloated corpse. We might, we might be able to actually. If we take uh, our knights and charge into these guys. We might have a chance to uh, to do some damage. Then we'll take these guys and kind of uh, just kite around a little bit. Now I want you to definitely to still shoot that guy though. Or go this way. Doesn't guess it doesn't really matter. Basically, want to try to keep those guys in range of um, my towers. And the knights have anti-large, so there's that as well. 
All right, I need you guys to go out and charge that real quick for me. And yeah, this is not going to work very well, is it? <laughs> We'll, uh, we'll have you, you guys go and attack them. You're probably better suited to just do that. All right, let's go a little bit of do a little bit of normal speed here, real quick. Just gonna see if we can smash right through these guys. Okay, that's good. Push on through. I don't really have much mass. You guys push on through. Okay, that's looking really good. These guys are having just a really difficult time pushing through here. Keeping uh, those guys busy, so I guess that's good. Alright, you guys. You guys, don't tell me you guys are running. They are running. Cowards. Well, nothing we can do about that. We can do something about this, though. Uh, they're harassing my guys on the wall there. It's unfortunate. I was hoping that, that would go a little bit differently. Ah, they have Depth Guard. God I see. Alright, running Prometheans. Alright, let's... we got to slow this down so we can see what's going on here. Um, we want to charge these guys. Alright, yeah, shoot. In fact, uh, yeah, let's take it all back. Let's put you back on fire at will. Actually, you really need to shoot. Oh, I thought those were uh, Depth Guard. Those are not Depth Guard. Those are Depth Guard, yeah, for sure. We need to bring in uh, a unit of Foot Squires to deal with these guys as well. Even though they only have pull arms. Let's see if you guys can lob some, uh, some arrows there. And uh, you guys are going to move on. I think we got... Did we get all their cannons? No, I don't think so. Oh, good. We uh, we got these guys back. Looks like they're going to get run off the map, unfortunately. Good stuff, good stuff, good stuff. Get them moving. Push on through. We we'll charge them again. Looks like maybe they did abandon their cannons, though. Spurs, lads! Like the wind! Get them moving! We obey! Squash them flat! I think they should be able to win against that artillery crew. We need to come back over here and worry about this now. Uh, all right. So, you guys move over like this a little bit more, please. So we need to shoot up these guys. Now, what do you, uh, what do you have? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hit him. Hit him with a little bit of that. Every little bit helps with, uh, with this AoE situation. Get a little bit of magic cast on us. That's fine. Just going to uh, take out as many of these deck droppers as we can. Yeah, you gotta, you guys gotta push in. We need uh, probably a unit of spears to push in there as well. Just need to really use as much of our mass as we uh, as we reasonably can here. Oh, these guys are the men at arms. That's fine. Um, all right, off of melee mode into skirmish mode. You guys can attack that, I guess.
for whatever little good it's going to do us. And what happened to that rotting Promethean? There's one around here somewhere. Can't tell if he's in the mix there or not. All right, let's... Oh, you're actually on foot. That's good. Yeah, you go fight him. We need to get more guys going in here. Ah, shit. That's a obnoxious. Um, all right, we need uh, all archers to shoot this fucking running leviathan before it rips our lines apart. God help us! Because, yeah, it just walked right through us. Okay. We're doing, uh, doing as much as we can here. We still got a whole other one to deal with. But it's not looking too promising, I gotta be honest. Let's get you uh, out of the melee if we can. Let's see here. Yeah. If you fight Noctilus, that could be good. Let's get you guys fighting something a little bit more productive as well. Alright, that thing's starting to go down. So we've got, uh, looks like we've got some deck gunners here that we probably would like to deal with, so shoot them. You guys are going to shoot these uh, guys over here. Alright, you guys rallied. Come on back. Just hang out right there. Still got a lot of wins of magic, so we just want to keep on nailing these guys with everything that we can get. I want you guys to get out of the melee, though. Okay, we got another unit rallying, it looks like. Come back on over. These guys are almost out of uh, ammunition. Not getting a whole lot done there, but what are you going to do? Yeah, you guys come back over. Everybody come back over. All right, that thing's almost dead. Which is really good. Ah, shit. She, uh, I should have had her not be quite so in the melee. We can bring this down. Maybe we have a chance to get her back. There we go, we got it. Okay. That helps a lot. Shoot the Death Guard now. Alright, you guys are gonna move up. And fight them. Oh, shit. Now the other one's here. <laughs> of course he is. Uh, you guys can probably take those guys out. Okay, Warriors rallying. Good, good, good. That's, uh, that's you. Come back over, please. All of the damage that we can possibly do. This needs you to stay, like, right there. All right, we got those guys. Come back in. 
attack them. Just need to bring this thing down. Looks like we're gonna win there. That is good. We've almost got Noctilus. Okay, looks good. So close. There's a bowman. Leg it. Orders. Withdraw. There's a bowman. We get these spears in here. That might help. Oh, we got we got the uh, other Promethean, did we? Ah, but we're getting the army penalty, I think. Squires. Oh no, the other Promethean's still right there. And she's running. That's uh, looking looking like we're probably gonna lose here. Almost got him too. That sucks. Damn. Well, we did quite a number on him. Did her best, so it is what it is. Those uh, Prometheans just really fucked us up. Couldn't, couldn't stop him from just walking right through our lines, no matter how many guys we had waiting for him. If we would have had men-at-arms instead, we would have been a lot better off. Because these the spearmen just don't have any armor piercing, so they couldn't do any damage to it. We had to use our archers. You know, maybe if we tried another one, one or two times, we could have dialed it in and, and gotten a victory there, but... Wasn't meant to be this time. However... We may have done enough damage, and yeah, these guys really fucked us up too. We may have done enough damage that the other guy can sweep in and finish these guys off. Like, these these guys might be a bit of an issue. We'll see. He's going to get some replenishment, I imagine. I'm not sure if he's going to raise the settlement or uh, sack it or what. Just uh, sacked it by the look of it. Well, if he goes after our bigger settlement to the south there, I don't think we have much to worry about. Unfortunately, we did lose uh, her, but we can recruit another lord pretty easily. And uh, at the same rank, I, I do wonder if um, if we had a different lore of magic, if we would have been better off. Like a lore of heavens caster with the, the curse of wind. I don't know if that would have done more damage than the crows or not. Probably not, actually. Well, eh. They were pretty well situated to uh, to get blasted by the wind spell, so... We actually might have been better off overall, but... I don't know if that really would have been the difference maker. Alright, Wars of Errantry. Bretonia stands strong as a protector of honor and chivalry, yet one last challenge must still be met in the wastes of the Old World. 
Our king prepares for battle on the grandest of scales and calls forth an errantry war. I ask you now to bestow your great virtues upon us and lead the knightly orders to their final victory over our enemy. Do we want to fight chaos? Or do we want to fight the green skins? I have no idea what the difference is, but we have a choice. Um, you know, we haven't fought orcs in a long, long time. I don't know if we, we haven't fought any chaos. Just trying to think of, I think, um, I think I'm going to go with the green skins on this one. All right. Settlement sacked. Lost some money there. That's unfortunate. And uh, we got some tech research. That's good. All right. Quest issued. My lord, the outsider or outriders have returned from their reconnaissance with reports of a green skin force uh, massing ahead of us. They are encamped on a defensible ridge and have brought their bizarre artillery to further fortify their position. They appear ready to fight to the last. Further reports seem to indicate that they are bolstered by a great gathering of war bosses who seem bent on bringing their full strength to bear against you. It is clear they want the same thing we do, a decisive battle to decide our fates once and for all. We must not relent. The scourge must be wiped from the world. So it's uh, a quest battle. Should be interesting. And uh, Winds of Pain, so extra magic for everybody. That's all well and good, but uh, we'll deal with all this next time. It looks like we got our final uh, goal here, which is going to be to fight the uh, the green skins. Yeah, he just recruited a whole brand new army. That's unfortunate. So before I forget, let's stick you right in there. Um, Yeah, so that's... Uh, that's an unfortunate situation there, but hey, we're kind of in the home stretch. So when we come back, we'll spend some money, move further south to deal with uh, Sartosa, and um, think about how we're going to handle Noctilus here.